In this video, we will explain how to use the summary field tagging element. We previously used it already, but didn't explain it, so let's start over again with the summary field. For that purpose, I will remove the tagging element. Remove it. So now this is just a fixed text. I can type, for example, this value 2 or 3 comma 849.87 so now we want to calculate the sum of all line amounts so the sum of these values here and to present it here in this subtotal summary field allows us to do that in a very simple point and click way so we select the summary field and here we provide the binding. So what is it that we want to summarize? From the main data, purchase order lines, line amounts, I will give them N2 format, and that's basically it. Here we see that value. But notice while the summary field tagging element is selected, uh, that here I have a few more properties. For example, this one function, it lists uh, several aggregation functions, so it's not only sum that I can do, I can also calculate average, mean, max, count, first, last, and so on. So if I say, for example, last, I will get the last element from this collection of data, and that is this value here. Or I can say min, it should give me the minimal value from this here, it is 54.50. If I would say count, then I would get the number of occurrences of this field line amount in the collection of these seven lines. And because I have seven lines, I also have seven times this field. So count should return number seven. But obviously, what we usually do is we are calculating the sum. That's why also this field is called summary field tagging element. Notice that you can do the same thing in slightly different ways. So I will copy this subtotal and paste it. And here now I will delete this uh, summary field and uh, add summary field in another way. I will say summary field. But this time I'm not going to point to a field that I want to summarize. I will say that I only want to do the aggregation over the purchase order lines. So I will double click and here I will say yes, summarize, but here I will say what from this collection I want to aggregate. So I will point to line amount fields and say and to format again. So as you can see, we can do the same thing in different ways. Okay, here we are missing one space to have everything formatted correctly. And notice that you, we can do the same thing also in this way. If I copy once again and paste, I will again remove this summary field. Now I will use the field tagging element and apply the expression that will calculate this sum of purchase order lines line amounts. So I will say field tagging element. And here for the expression, I will open this pencil and I will say if you don't know exact function or operator you need then you I invite you to experiment with these to open each of them and to watch what is available for example sum is operation on numbers so you can expect that it is something here here you will find it if you stop for a moment you will see a syntax and a description so you can double click it or I could have simply typed sum and here obviously it's still not correct, so I need to provide what I want to summarize. I can type manually the expression like this, purchase order lines slash line amount, but it's easier just to keep double clicking from here. So I will double click purchase order lines, then say slash, and then from here expand and find line amounts. Double click, now the expression is correct and it will return double. So let's say OK and again apply N2 
formatting. You see, now I got the same result in the third way. So that was the demonstration of how to use the summary field tagging element.